today's challenge is gonna be the hardest and it's making it really hard to get out of bed today. <laughs> I even got out of bed, <laughs> got ready and then now I'm back in bed. I've been putting off starting this vlog all day. Well, all day, <laughs> it's only like 10.30. But since I've been awake, because that means this, do I go left here? No, that means this day is officially real. And today is the day I go and jump in a freezing cold lake. And I couldn't, I honestly couldn't have chosen a worse day to do this. Just to put this in perspective, people, yesterday was 10 miles an hour winds. The day before that was 14 and tomorrow is gonna be 11. But today is 25 to 27 mile an hour winds because apparently we're just gonna make this even more of a challenge. The pond lake that I'm going to jump in is about five degrees and it just started raining <laughs> and it is so cold. I've been gearing myself up for this all morning but last night I was awake and I woke up in the night and I could just hear the winds like banging against the window and I was like, oh, that wind. I was like, you're mean. I have a couple of people coming to cheer me on. Um, Este is already there because she's literally never late and she's always on time. It's not even funny. She's so hilarious. I'm sure my sister will be late <laughs> and my mum is coming as well. The nerves are kind of kicking in and um, I don't really say this very often but I'm actually petrified of the sea. I don't I just I don't really like not knowing what's underneath me and it just freaks me out and I'm not a big fan of the unknown and like animals in the water like it just freaks me out that's why this is a big challenge for me because I feel like there are way more animals in the pond than there are the sea but who really knows and I don't want to know don't tell me actually you can tell me afterwards I'm so nervous I can't even speak oh no that guy just stole my space <coughs> and I think that's Estee's car so I don't even know if you can hear me in the wind but there's a lifeguard there by the pond which is right here and she was saying that if you're not used to jumping in cold water then you should probably take the steps otherwise there's some I can't even remember like what she said you could like become really ill basically if your body just like jumps into like five degree water and you're probably gonna find this really difficult so <sighs> god they've kindly let us film because it's um as I said it was for charity so I don't know oh I'm just so nervous and my sister's coming right now and my mom and I don't know what animals are in this pond and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Who's ready for this? Not me, okay. And <laughs> yeah, now we are. Just Step one. <gasps> Is it really Oh cold? my god! That's why we said don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I can do this. Breathe. You're, you're not exhaling, yeah? Keep breathing. Breath out. <laughs> so really? Wait, oh. Give yourself a minute. Give yourself a minute. Yeah. You think of Not another really. challenge? Not yourself. really, no. So no. you're already going in a little bit cold. Yeah. Which is quite tough. Just Let go out quickly. And do it. But don't, yeah. don't mess about now. It's cooling down. You've only got yeah. a few yeah. seconds. It's too cold. Just go and plunge up your neck and come out. Okay. And breathe. Breathe Whoa. out. So, yeah, Keep good. Going. Keep doing it. Good. Good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. There you go. Oh. That was so difficult to step then. You haven't actually swam. How long do I stay? Just get in yeah. and get, get out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your advice. Oh my god, I can't. I actually can't feel my legs. This is like quickly, it's quickly. not pins and needles. It's like something else. I don't even know what it is. It's like it's weird. You get so out of breath just from being yeah. so cold. Like, you know, like you, 
your breath just goes, it's so scary. So after all that, I really thought I would be able to just like jump in a lake and then the woman saw me and she knows all the regulars that come in the lake and she was like, what are you doing? <laughs> she was basically like, what the hell are you doing here? She was like, no, you should not be doing this. And so she basically said like, you cannot jump in the lake. You can't even go in the lake. Try and put your toe in the lake. And I tried and I was like, that is so cold. And she was like, you just shouldn't do this at all. But I still wanted to do it. I just had my mind set on like, I needed to just go in, even if it wasn't jump in, like I originally planned. I just needed to put my body in. And oh God, it was way, way harder than I ever thought it would be I thought I would just be able to get on with it and do it but <laughs> five degrees is way colder than you think it is group thought amazing so good I think it's really hard like you forget that these people come here like every week to build up their stamina like you can't just they even said that one woman came didn't come for three weeks and she couldn't do it she couldn't get in and Hannah and I put our fingertips yeah. in and even we couldn't bend our hands right <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like the after effect you're just like oh my gosh yeah. Yeah. so I can't believe you did it I'm very proud oh thank you no, it's bye. Fine. bye wait I have a present for you it's from a Japanese market <laughs> And I was like, I stay away. That Slow is mo. a proper washi tape. I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I really sympathize with you. That honestly looked horrible. <laughs> no, honestly, I honestly thought I would just be able to do it. And then when the woman was like, you're going to put your body in shock and you won't be able to move. Like she was like, you'll be in the pond and you won't be able to move your body. I was like, that sounds effing scary. And I didn't believe her until yeah, you, my I legs, I didn't believe her. Yeah, and then my legs went in and I couldn't feel my legs. And I was like- I didn't believe her till I saw you like literally so out of breath. And you yeah, were, like, it's the weirdest thing. It's, it's like, you're so, so out of control. Like you can't actually breathe. It is actually really weird. And then when I saw you out of breath, she literally like got me out of the way. And she was like, I need to stand here with my flow. Like, <laughs> you mean the rest of the life? Oh God. <laughs> she was. She just kept saying how brave you were, how good you were doing. Oh, she it's was really easy. nice. She was so she nice. Was really nice. I thought she was just like being really dramatic and then as soon as I got in I was like no this woman knows her shiz. I am a bit disappointed because I had this like vision of me like just going in the lake and jumping in but I'm and running stuff. Yeah like I'm kind of glad I didn't because like then I'd put my body in <laughs> like god knows what shock. But at the end of the day you did your best and you didn't know all those kind of obstacles that would like yeah. get in your way or prevent you from like doing what you had in your mind and Wow, we're getting so deep about this lake jump, but no, I think that's such a good message to take away from this. About, is like though. challenge is all about doing your best, basically, and like yeah. overcoming your fears. And like yeah. even I saw it in your face when you put like <laughs> put like your feet in or whatever, and then you're like, no, no, like I can't do it, like I don't want to do it, like screw this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like those momentary like. In your yeah. Mind. I think that kind of applies to everything like lake jump or no yeah. lake jump. Like no matter what challenge you're given. It's because our initial reaction best. is to be, to like, be like, I can't, I do, can't do it. Yeah, that is it. I don't know if that's just like us or if that's like most people. Yeah. And then you kind of have to like overcome that and try and do your best, I guess. Because that's the best you can yeah. do. Yeah, anyway, enough getting deep up in here. Which way am I? I going? actually had it so different in my head. <laughs> what did you think was Not gonna this happen? Right, the next I thought we were gonna like, it would all be like fun and jokes and we would like stretch it out beforehand. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like, I thought my vision was that we would all be like five, four, three, two, yeah. one, and I and would then jump be like, in. Ah, yeah. Here I am in the lake. In the lake, yeah. I was like gonna be taking okay. selfies on the GoPro with my. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so funny actually. I'm gonna go get me some French toast. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm gonna maybe. talk about challenges and <laughs> overcoming our fears. Yeah. <laughs> Check out my French toast. Mmm. Oh my god, that looks really good. I'm craving salt beef salt sandwich. Beef. What's this one? What is this? this DIY is breakfast. Yeah. That looks really good as well. I'm digging in, folks. Back 
Back to uni. Back Bye. to uni. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy I came down though. That was definitely <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah, she came down to watch the lake not the jump. The lake challenge. The lake. No, that's not the, the lake, lake challenge. challenge. So that is the end of challenge number three of five. I'm very excited for you guys to see tomorrow's challenge as well. And if you haven't already, please, please, please donate to Caldwell Children's Charity. I will leave a link below of my blog post all about my week of charity challenges and the Just Giving page as well where you can donate below. I hope me doing something really outside my comfort zone as you guys saw today with my body rash and <laughs> the whole shebang. <laughs> I hope this inspires you to like try something different or do something that pushes yourself a tiny bit or takes you a bit outside your comfort zone. Let me know on Twitter or by email or something if you do because I'd really like to know. I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go and have a really nice sleep and really appreciate my warm bed tonight and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing challenge number three. I will see you guys tomorrow for challenge number four. I think tomorrow's one might be a bit more funny but only time will tell so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys! Oh god, we've already been escorted out the first place. How amazing is that? Stream running through here. Check this out, an outside bath. They did have all the same cowshed products in my shower this morning. And I did try, there are four different types of body wash and I tried all four. I have to